So road racing is finally back. Got national champs for Australia, men's and women's. We'll go through men's first and women's. First of all, we've got Luke Plapp, won the double. Big result for the old man. Well, young man, to be fair. I think he's probably younger than me. Anyway, 72 kilos is what we've got the weight in. This is what Pro Cycling Stats says. I think it could be less, could be more. No, nah, definitely not more, but could be less. Anyway, so we'll go through kind of like what numbers cracking out. So 340 normalized for 4 hours 40, so decent, but nothing like, you know, absolutely bonkers. The one thing to keep into consideration for sure is the heat, 33 degrees. That is not insignificant. Anyway, so this is the course. Australia is kind of rogue because they use the same course every year because I guess I don't really know. It doesn't make any sense to me, but, you know, it is what it is. So it's kind of punctuated by, like, one long climb, but it's kind of two climbs. Like, there's the main drag, and then they turn left onto this next part, and it's still kind of up and down. But, yeah, it's like 2.3K, 5.5%. So you can see, like, some pretty tasty numbers early on. Like, if we look at this sort of peak two-minute power, you can see uh, that's coming towards the end of the final lap, 546 watts. But even the first couple of laps, they're pretty hard. Um, like here you can see 390 like obviously not absolutely bonkers um this one was like a bit more chill um but if we just go through more it's pretty interesting this one 6.6 .6, 490 watts could be like seven watts per kilo for five minutes pretty mental pretty mental indeed and you can see it's pretty steady as well like in terms of power no massive spikes here 30k an hour very quick next lap calms down like five 4.7 and the thing is it's just like tiring you out the whole time i think he's was speaking am i wrong i reckon he's doing more than this but anyway we'll just kind of go with the flow but you can see decent efforts but like nothing like kind of mental it's just like consistent every lap the climb um but you can see then it's kind of like 440 is suddenly getting a bit lot harder um and this is the thing is this is when it comes gets hard and you think we're already uh three hours in three and a half hours in and then these are when the numbers start to sort of come out this one Second two laps to go was hard as well. Five was per kilo again. And then this one was super, super hard. Six was per kilo. But you can see this last two minutes was really hard where they bridged across to the to the four leaders. But the downhill is not super easy either. Like, okay, it's not too hard, but you can see it's not like absolute noodle fest. But anyway, so what happened is they all attacked. Then there was a sort of small group down here. And you can see the last minutes of the race was at 400 normal. So actually pretty decent. So Luke Platt did his first attack. And I thought this was going to succeed, to be honest. If we look at this, he launches it down here and kind of has 454 watts. But it doesn't really encapsulate it because there was a corner. He launched it into there, held some decent watts here. And then when he kicked out the corner again, doing like 420 watts, you kind of reckon that people aren't going to chase. But they did chase. He kept on kind of following attacks, did a, did a move here, which I thought... It was kind of a bit of a soft move, looked a bit cracked, like not great. But then his final move was really strong. And you can see here, it's like 460 watts, the last minute 40. If we go for just the kind of like peak acceleration, just from about here, you can see 890 watts in nine seconds, which isn't bonkers, but it was pretty hard at that point. Like if you look at this last bit, 425 normalized for 17 minutes. Like it is hard. Like this bit here, you can see like the average is even 380 which you think how many downhills there is, shows it's a super, super hard last effort. Um, and then what's really special is when he does solo away, he's just keeping super aero, 430 watts, 68k an hour. That is quick, 111 cadence. And that's the thing, it's like, it's such a fast downhill that again, you've got to really have the big numbers. Um, anyway, that was basically the men's, like pretty hard, but kind of how it always plays out. Select group, someone goes solo or it's a sprint, but solo seems to be the kind of way because... I think a lot of people don't have mega teams, so it's easier to get away. Anyway, big result from the old man. Um, and now we've got Brody Chapman. Uh, she won the women's as well. Vegan cyclist. Big up that. Three hours, so slightly shorter race. 240 normalized. I think she's around 60 kilos. Could be a little bit less um, for the new team, Trek Segafredo. Um, but yeah, again, we can see it like heart rate there. So you can kind of see again a bit more. Um, how each climb was ridden but again we'll just go through the climb so like nothing too crazy oh crack in the weight like i am probably around 60 or i think maybe 58 will go that's kind of the vibes i get but you know could be slightly wrong up or down either way not 100 percent sure but it would allow us to kind of see the rough watts per kilo of the climb so like four nothing too mental 4.3 again you can see heart rate for her like 179 towards the top of it but nothing like too too crazy um, in reality, again, this like four, four was per kilo, so decent pace, four and a half steps up a little bit, 4.1. Um, this one's kind of the harder one, I guess, 5.3 was per kilo, and also pretty surgy as well, 
Um, you can see this last part is like getting closer to six watts per kilo for three minutes. Um, this climb again steady. You can see the women's is kind of like there's no real soft tap climbs in comparison to the men's. Like it's definitely harder. Um, obviously, like relatively not absolute numbers, but again, this is like where the climb you can see is like towards the end of the race, like two and a half hours in, and that's really when the numbers start to go. Uh, 306 watts, 5.3 ish. It was just say around that kind of level for seven minutes, pretty strong. Um, and then that's basically the big move, and then over the top put in some attacks um, as well and then the big solo to the win here you can see like last three minutes 290 watts so very very strong performance um but anyway hope you did enjoy like we kind of look at the last bit like we did with loop plaque you can see 290 normalized for the last 17 minutes it's really really strong so anyway i hope you did enjoy cheers for watching and i'll see you in the next one